Hey guys, I'm just about ready to spray the front of this cabinet with lacquer. Now you may be wondering why didn't I spray the entire cabinet at one time. Well, you could, but it's a little tough to control I find when you uh, are just using a spray can. If you had a professional spray rig, I think uh, you could probably get away with it. So now that I've done the top and the one side, I'm just masking off the front area and then I'll do the other side as the final step. Uh, now when, when I mask this off, I'm careful to use painter's tape and rather than masking tape when it comes to direct in contact with the, uh, with the finish. Mask, or pa rather painter's tape is blue tape, it also comes in green I believe. It is specially designed to not adhere too uh, much to the old finish so when you pull it off there won't be residue. However, you should take it off as soon as possible regardless of what kind of tape you use because the longer it sits the greater the chance there is of it uh, interacting with the surface below. This lacquer dries pretty quick so I'll be able to put on two coats of toner, three coats of clear and it'll be dry probably within half an hour or so and then I'll take this off immediately. Uh, now the reason I use the masking tape and the paper, uh, well partly, uh, painter's tape is kind of is more expensive than masking tape and uh, you know once you get a strip down using a little bit of masking tape and then paper is plenty of protection from the, for this. Lacquer uh, doesn't travel too far unlike um, some enamels I've used uh, like for metal. Uh, some of those have just <laughs> they travel for 10-20 foot radius around the area I'm painting with this stuff stays pretty close. So uh, yeah, uh, I sanded this down and then I used a tack cloth to get off the, the sanding dust and then I'll spray it with some compressed air, wipe it down with some mineral spirits, do one last burst with the compressed air and then I'll start putting on the lacquer. I gotta put down the camera while I do that. So I'll resume after I've put on my coat of lacquer. All right, I've put down a couple light coats of the uh, toning lacquer on the cabinet. While that's drying, I thought you might like to see uh, how I go about actually applying this stuff using this uh, expired toning lacquer out of my waist. Uh, you want to shake it up really, really well, uh, as the cans indicate, especially with this toner lacquer, because the pigment will settle down at the bottom of the can. So one thing you want to do is. Make sure the bottle rattles around the bottom and shake it up and down really good. Make sure the nozzle's clear by spraying just onto some scrap. Uh, you want to hold the nozzle about a foot away and I always start spraying off the actual item. You always want to keep the can moving. Remember light coats. Overlap your, uh, your passes a little bit. And uh, basically you do it like this. Now notice there isn't much pigment to this. Well, you gotta build up layers. Um, this this in particular doesn't have a whole lot of toning to it compared to the uh, the Mohawk, which is a much darker tone. So like I said, even just with a couple light coats, it came out uh, this dark. Uh, the stuff dries pretty quick, so you can put on another layer uh, in about five minutes or so. And uh, you build it up until you got the, uh, the color you like. So uh, as soon as this dries a little bit more, I'll put on some clear coats and then I'll, like I said, I'll pull off all this uh, masking tape immediately. And once that dries, uh, probably tomorrow, I'll do the, uh, the last side. And uh, then I can move on to putting on a few more clear coats on the entire cabinet at once. And then uh, doing the, uh, the hand rubbing, they call it, to really put a, a nice shine on the, uh, the lacquer. I think that'll be all for tonight.